Hello everyone, Jennifer Maker here. It's time for our Cricut Design Space lesson. Let's learn how to cut a project with multiple material settings, bookmark our favorites to save time, and cut felt on our Cricut cutting machines. We'll use my super cute and easy light up Dollar Tree bunny to do this. Let's get started. Step one, get my free Dollar Tree bunny design files. Go to jennifermaker.com 480 and look for libraries in the red bar at the top. And then either click get a password if you don't yet have one or click enter the library. Search the page for design number 480. When you find it, click it to download the zip file. The file contains 12 different bunny faces plus their ears, feet, a bow tie, buttons, and a hat. You can cut this project with any of the Cricut Maker or Explorer machines. You can cut it on the Cricut Joy, but the brim of the hat is a bit too big and will need to be cut by hand, but everything else you can do. I'll be using my trusty Cricut Maker 3 for this project. To begin, upload the SVG file to Cricut Design Space. If you're not sure how to do this, go to jennifermaker.com svgs to learn how to unzip and upload files. Step two, prepare your Dollar Tree bunny design. This is what my bunny design file looks like on my canvas in Cricut Design Space. You can zoom out to see all of the parts by clicking on the minus sign on the lower left. There's a bunch of cute bunny faces to choose from, plus ears, a bow tie, feet, buttons, and even an adorable hat. But we don't need all the faces, so here's how to pick just one. Right click on them and then click ungroup to separate your design pieces. Click an empty area in your canvas to deselect everything, then choose which bunny face you want to use. I'll use this one with the eyelashes, teeth, and the cute heart nose. Now select all of the other bunny faces and press your delete button to remove them. Everything else is ready as it is and we're ready to cut. Step three, cut your Dollar Tree bunny design. Make sure your correct machine is selected and then click make it in the upper right corner. On the prepare screen, check that the different parts are on separate mats. That way we can use separate materials for each element. Then click back on the first mat and click continue. And here's how we pick the different material settings for each mat. The white mat containing our bunny ears will be cut from felt. So click browse all materials and search for felt in the search bar. Click it and then click the ribbon shaped icon to save it to your bookmarks. This will come in handy in a moment. Then click done and change the pressure to more. I recommend selecting more pressure for all materials in this project. It really helps to get cleaner cuts. Now place your white felt on a purple strong grip machine mat. You can also use a pink fabric grip machine mat or a really sticky and new green standard grip machine mat. All three worked well for me with the felt. Use a brayer to make sure the felt is evenly adhered to your mat. Before loading the mat into your Cricut, slide the white star wheels all the way to the right of your machine's roller bar. Some types of felt may be creased by the star wheels, so it's best to move them to prevent any unwanted marks on your felt. Check that your fine point blade is clean and in clamp B. And then insert the mat into your Cricut and press the flashing arrows to load it. When the middle button flashes, press it to begin the cut. When the cut is done, do not unload your mat. Gently lift the corner of the felt to make sure it cut all the way through. If it didn't, press the middle button again for a second pass. This really depends on how thick the fabric is. It's important to note that different brands of craft felt will have different cut results. If your felt is not cutting all the way through, you may need to experiment with different pressure settings and multiple passes. If you need to change the pressure back in Cricut Design Space, click Browse All Materials and then Material Settings in the lower left corner. Scroll to Felt and click the gray Edit button. You can move the lever to the right to increase the pressure and click on the drop down menu to add more passes. Try slowly adding more and more pressure or passes until you get it just right. When the felt has cut all the way through, press the flashing arrows to unload the machine mat from your Cricut. Turn the mat over and gently pull the felt away from the mat. Remove the excess felt too. 
The next mat is the black one that contains the bunny's face and buttons. We'll cut it from black Cricut Premium Permanent Vinyl. Change the material settings the same way as the previous mat by clicking Browse All Materials, but search for Premium Vinyl this time. Click Premium Vinyl Permanent Glossy, and then click the ribbon icon to add the setting to your bookmarks too. Then click Done and change the pressure to More. Cut a piece of vinyl slightly larger than the design area shown on your screen. This way you don't have to use a full sheet. Place the vinyl with the color side facing up on a green standard grip machine mat. Use a brayer to adhere the vinyl really well. Before you load your mat, move the star wheels back so they're evenly spaced along the bar. The star wheels help push and pull thinner materials, so have them out for vinyl and cardstock, but to the side for felt. Now insert the mat into your Cricut and press the flashing arrows to load it. When the middle button flashes, press it to begin the cut. Vinyl usually cuts well with just one pass, so when it's finished, press the arrow buttons to unload the mat. Flip the mat over and roll it from the vinyl to release it. Back in Cricut Design Space, let's cut our cardstock mats. We'll start with the orange one, which contains the band for our bunny's cute little spring hat. Let's change the material type to medium cardstock with more pressure. If it's not already bookmarked, go to Browse All Materials and search for medium cardstock. Click it, click the ribbon icon to bookmark it, and then click Done. Then change your pressure to more. Place your orange cardstock on a green standard grip machine mat and use a brayer to help it adhere well. Now load your mat into your Cricut and press the middle flashing button to begin the cut. When it's finished, press the arrows to unload the mat and then flip the mat over and roll it away from the cardstock to release it without any ripping or curling. Repeat these steps for the next mat using the same settings, which is light yellow cardstock and contains the rest of our bunny's hat. Our next two mats, the teal and light pink ones, will be cut from felt. Save a little time by selecting the material from your bookmarks and then change the pressure to more. Add your teal felt to your purple strong grip machine mat and use your brayer to adhere it well. Remember to move the star wheels away from the material and then load your mat into your Cricut and cut it. Always check your cuts before unloading your mat and press the middle button to send it through for another pass if it didn't go all the way through. Repeat these steps for the light pink mat. And finally, our last mat is our bunny's cute little nose. Select premium vinyl permanent glossy as your material and change the pressure to more. Cut a small piece of coral permanent vinyl or just use a scrap that's big enough. Put it shiny side up on your green standard grip machine mat so it covers the design area, adhering it with a brayer. Once again, move the star wheels on your Cricut, though they might not reach the material. Load your mat and press the middle button to cut. Once it's done, unload the mat and remove your vinyl. And there we go. Now everything is cut and you're ready to assemble your light up Dollar Tree bunny. For the bunny assembly directions, just go to jennifermaker.com 480. I have a full step-by-step -step assembly video for you to follow. If you have any questions about cutting this project in your Cricut or anything related, please let me know right below this video or come ask over in our Cricut Crafters group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters and post your photos too. I can't wait to see your finished light up bunnies. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love. Mm -hmm.